Hey YouTube, it's Manny. In the last video, we went over unboxing and installing NZXT's Kraken Z73 all-in-one cooler into my PC. In this video, I want to cover NZXT's CAM software, which controls the images displayed in the LCD. We're going to cover some of the things I've learned about it, such as size, how to make the image look nice, things like that. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you look up someone to game with, you can find me and other players on the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, so I moved my camera much closer to get a better view of the actual LCD. Unfortunately, my Logitech C920 does not display the LCD very well. It looks very washed out. Knowing then what I know now, I might not have bought this all in one. I might've got just a regular one with maybe some RGB or something like that, but I have it nonetheless now. It's installed, it's running. Physically, it looks great. If I look over, it's incredible. But with my current camera setup, it doesn't look the greatest. So who knows, maybe I'll have a camera upgrade in the future. First download the NZXT software. You wanna to go to www.nzxt.com slash downloads. And you'll actually get install.exe. This actually installs the cam software. I already have it installed, download it, and you install it. Now, once we're running the NZXT software, you're presented with a whole bunch of things. You got PC monitoring, system specs. These are everything I have in there, graphics card, blah, 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 uh, games. Lighting is the one we care about. You can even overclock how the cooling's working, but we care about lighting. Now, when it comes installed, I believe it's set to dual infograph. To get more information about this, you click over here, and we can actually change the colors of the actual infograph, the background colors and stuff like that. Whatever colors you want to display, you can make it look. But we're here to actually mess around with the GIF because that's why we bought it. We want to display the GIF. That's what we want to do. All right. So it says max size 20 megabytes, right? That's more or less for your animated GIFs. The GIFs I have here are minimal. However, they don't tell you what the dimension is. All right. I believe it's a 2.2. 36 inch LCD. However, it is a 320 pixel diameter circle image, not 320 pixels, rectangular, square, whatever. It's a circle. All right. So it's a diameter of a circle, 320 pixels. That's important. The reason it's important is for either A, you might end up scaling the image and it doesn't look as good, or B, you might crop the image. As you can see here, I got my Logan here. I took a little time. I've only had PNGs and I had vector graphics, so uh, SVGs of my logo. So I had to convert them. I used it. I used GIMP to actually convert it to a GIF file. Looked good. Worked out well. All right. So now let's upload a new image. We're going to upload one that's too large and it's cropped. First thing you want to do is click upload GIF. It's going to bring up your file menu. You're going to click your file, the one you want to open. And now you present it with this little circle. As you can see, like I said, it's a circle. Now you can drag it to whichever part you want. So if it was a small one like this, you drag it like this and it would take whatever's in here and scale it to 320. What we're going to do is we want to take the whole thing like this. And unfortunately the image is too large. So now it's cropped. doesn't look as good. So let's upload the right image. All right, let's take this logo. Here's another issue I discovered as well. If you have a logo and I think black backgrounds look really good on this. However, this logo is 320. As you can see, the circle is perfect. 320 all the way around. All right, now we're going to save it. But do you notice something in the LCD window? Do you notice? There's actually little white pixels around the exterior of the image. Well, that's no good. I wasn't sure what was causing that. I have no idea what caused that. So to get around that, what we do is we take the image, same thing, open it all the way up. However, what we want to do now is take it, take it in one, one pixel, two pixels, doesn't matter. Like one or two is not scaling. It's not going to cause a problem, right? So we brought it in a little bit, save it now, watch those pixels gone. So. If you have a black background, what you want to do is make sure that you bring it in a little bit and then it looks fine. I'm not sure if it's picking up something in that 100, 320. I tried making images bigger, smaller. It always, no matter if I expanded it all the way, it always had those little pixels on the outside. So my suggestion to you is just bring in a little bit if you see those pixels, because it looks much nicer. All right. So now that we have some, we have four GIFs here. Now you can actually have up to six GIFs in this previous GIF thing that you can actually click back and forth on. You can just click around on these ones. However, you can't delete them right now. A little odd that they do this. Now, if you upload a seventh GIF, so let's upload two more. Open. We're just gonna open like this so I can easily delete these ones. All right, 
now we have six and I can choose any one of these six, right? Still no way of actually getting in there of doing anything with any of these. I can't delete them or anything like that. Another interesting thing is, so this is upload. And if you click here, actually it uploads as well. It also brings this up. So let's open this up and do our seventh. We're just going to go like this. So I can delete it. Boom. Now I have seven, but only six are displayed. Latest one here. And it actually walks all the oldest ones out. We now have a new link view gift library. I actually wish this was here all the time, not just here on seven, because what if I have three and I want to get rid of two of them or one of them, I don't like it. I really want to get rid of it, and not have it here anymore. You can't, you then have to upload four more just to get this link. A little odd. NZXT, if you hear this, put this here all the time. Now click on view gift library, and now we can actually delete images here. Now, one issue I have is I'm not sure which one has the um, issue. We're going to keep this one. Maybe it's the first one. Probably the one with the pixels. Of course, it's the one with the pixels. So let's upload a good one. Story of my life, guys. Save it. I'm going to keep that one. And as you can see, now I can't get rid of the other one. If I want to get rid of it, hopefully I pick the right one. I have to up first upload seven images. One more. And now we have a little view link. All right. So we're going to get rid of this one. I believe this is so they're in order of um, so I believe this is the latest one. Then it walks like this. So I think this is the one I want to keep. So we're going to get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right, now let's close the library, choose this one. Boom, that's the one we want to keep. That's about it for um, the actual NZX key cam software for changing and modifying the LCD. So keep in mind, 320 pixels diameter. It doesn't say anywhere there. I had to look up on the web, experiment, play with things, and I finally found it. It'd be nice if it actually said max size. 20 megabytes, preferred size, 320 pixels diameter. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit that like button below. If you have any questions about GIFs and what they did or what I did in this video, please leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer it. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please smash that subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniarchity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time, YouTube, take it easy.